Torque Talk. Welcome back to fucking Ball Boys, bitch. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I have a weird, weird time and in, in, uh, introducing it. Ball Boys, Torgy Talk. Welcome back, everybody. With welcome a, back with a fucking third victory in a row for the Bears, dude. <laughs> Can't. Oh my god, dude. What'd you think? Dude, a solid game. You know, just. I mean, that's like you said it best. It's the best game that I might have ever seen the Bears play. Since since the fucking uh, Mitch seven touchdown game or six six touchdown game or whatever it was in 2018, I think that was the most entertained I've been watching a Bears game, and it was Sunday morning. It was a great day to start yep. the day. great way to start was, the day. It was great, dude. It looked like it was going to be Jacksonville's game. Not going to lie, you know, oh, like I the thought, whole whole first quarter, I was I thought they were going to be struggling. You, you think know? so? They, uh, they came through and then they just went off, man. It was dude, great. Um, Caleb had that one fucking. Uh, before we get into that, should we get? Are we gonna get into the bear stuff? Or are we gonna get? We're we gonna start off with our. Let's we let, let's just do do a you know the recap thing first, and then and then we'll dive into dive into the bears. We'll okay. sa- save save some surprises. Yeah. If any of you schmucks haven't been watching the bears, but yeah, it's let's all, let's all, start at the beginning. <laughs> it's all that matters. Life is bears. Bears is life. <laughs> um, yeah. we made so we made some bets last week, right? We did. Yours was pretty pretty out there. You know, a bunch of bunch of bears bets it actually ended up being great you know yeah. except you missed you missed that first touchdown right it was- i missed the first touchdown and i missed caleb's passing yards so i didn't we didn't touch on on the last episode did we we kind of, we forgot to run through our bets i believe last I, week we ran through mine i think okay but- so my bet last week i made was dj to score first and then deandre swift swift to score anytime bears on the money line and then caleb for over 237 yards passing and he ended up only get or he ended up getting 226 yards passing so he missed the passing yards by 11 yards and then missed the DJ scoring first i didn't think like i mean the first touchdown score that's the only thing that really throws your bets off or your odds off which makes the payout higher but i mean it wasn't a bad bet i don't think no but you did lose so i did yes i i there it is <laughs> my bet hit did for, it, what, uh, what was your bet again? Thirty. It was a two-leg parlay. Thirty-seven and a half points, or more than you know, over thirty-seven and a half for the Bears game, uh, mm-hmm. and then the Lions money line. So for those that placed a dollar, you're welcome because you just doubled your dollar. There you what go. I went. That's, that's what I did. <laughs> and, Hell yeah! What's your what's, yeah. what's your bet looking like for this week? This week it's another two-leg parlay. Uh, okay. It's going to be Lions. It's just Lions and Vikings because Bears are on a bye week, right? Yeah. Uh, over 49 and a half points. I think it's going to be a big game. And then I got Lions beating the Vikings because I think they're frauds. I do you know? too. And I think they're fucking phonies. Yeah. Right now, I think it's like plus 200. I might throw a, you know, anytime touchdown score for like Jameer Gibbs or David Montgomery. One of the two, you okay. know, and so could be a good, could be a good bet. But oh yeah, I think I got it again. <laughs> um, I got really upset about my uh, my bet that I put in for this week because I fucked it up and I thought I hit the over, but I hit the under. So if you know, I also am a Georgia Bulldogs fan and I put a bet on them. I was going to mix it up, put a college football bet in. Um, I took Georgia on the money line, Trevor Etienne to score, Carson Beck for over 225 passing. And then I was supposed to pick the over 40 and a half because it's Georgia, Texas. I feel like it's going to be a shootout. It's be a lot of, I don't know. My It's 20, a $10 bet to pay out. Uh, pays out 300 or total payout of 374 so yay but also like and i don't know if it's i hope that the defenses just show the fuck up and it's under that because it was a mistake <laughs> it was not supposed to be that way um yeah. if, if anybody knows how to uh take a bet back from fucking fan let me know i don't think you can it's kind of official no. now i can, I can cash it out for, i can <laughs> you, lose four i can lose four bucks and cash out meh I would just exactly. leave it. I'm just gonna leave, leave it. it in just there. let it ride. Yeah. You yeah. Who knows? Bite the bullet. Maybe they. Maybe it wins. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. And then I got. I was like, you know what? To make myself feel better, let's just bet against the Packers. Um, I picked the Houston Texans to win. Uh, just the money line over 44 and a half points, and Houston Texans to win by plus 
two and a half. So yeah, they got you know plus two and a half on the on the Houston Texans. Ten dollars pays out. It's a total payout of thirty two bucks. Thirty two eighty one. Nothing crazy, but hey, um, I'll be, try to be. I don't know. There's just with running two episodes a week now. It's like fucking ninety nine things to juggle. But whatever. Mm-hmm. Who cares? I'll be better. Just like the Bears are getting better. But hey, yeah, fucking breaking news, dude. Breaking fucking news. Devontae Adams to the Jets. I called it, right? Didn't I say Jets? <laughs> you, you, did, you, you did. You did. I was thinking Chiefs, but I, was, yeah, I said got I, I thought Chiefs for sure. That Chiefs would have been a. I would have, if I was Devontae Adams, I'd rather go to the Chiefs, but he wants mm-hmm. to be with his boyfriend. So, um, Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, great. What do you think there? It, that just goes to show, I think the, the Jets are trying to win everything, right? Oh yeah, they're going I think all so. In. I mean, they're they, I mean they're spending a lot of money to do it. You they know, fucking get rid of <laughs> get rid of Robert Sala, and then boom, a week and a half later, pick up Devontae yep. Adams. Yep. I mean, I you know I'm I'm sure. But they lose to the fine. Bills last night. Do you think they can even do? It? I mean, I, I didn't end up watching the end of the game last night. I fell asleep. Um, it's a lot of penalties, and that's I mean that's that even, was... Aaron, even Aaron Rodgers said that he's like even the roughing the passer on me wasn't even a roughing the passer. He said yeah. that he said that today or yet yesterday or today in in like press conferences. I think it was last mm-hmm. night. He said yeah, even that pit roughing the he's like you might as well be playing sarcastic ball out there. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice South Park reference there. Yeah, no, but yeah, I'm sure I'm it's going to work out great. You know, that's yeah. a good spot for him. Um, yeah, I mean, th- why was he even yeah. in Vegas after Derek Carr left in the first place? You know. Yeah, don't know. But um, I got saw like a little quote from uh, Sauce Gardner on the Jets. Um, seems like they were pretty like not, not like they didn't want Robert Sala to leave the Jets. Just just for the record, it seems like they liked him. Yeah, that's he what I mean. He just wasn't getting wins or anything. Yeah, that's what the main. That's know, what Aaron Rodgers I, made I, it seem like too. Yeah, no, but that was. I mean, I just I put on here that. There was a little insight because I thought that was interesting because I okay. thought for sure that they just hated the guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, from <laughs> we that video of, last week from that video of Aaron Rodgers pushing him and whatever that just kind of like obviously it was out of context, but yeah, um, yeah, even Aaron Rodgers said on Pat McAfee's show that um that they love you know they love Robert he's close with Robert's family it's like I don't nobody knew that that was going to happen I guess uh, except for uh whatever the fucking dude's name is wilson i think it's like I don't know, whoever owns the fucking jets woody will woody woody something i don't know woody johnson <laughs> whatever the fuck his name is anyway that's enough aaron Rodgers. you're not taking up any more of our time fuck you i like Aaron. i like aaron Rodgers. now that he's yeah. not on, now that he's not on the packers but <laughs> sure i mean whatever he's a great quarterback yeah. but i hope uh i hope that um i don't know as long as the packers do bad that's all that matters to me yeah <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what else we got? That fucking uh... Amari Cooper's yeah. trade news. Um, I'm, li- I'm reading about it. Yeah, he's going to the Bills. Uh, they traded with Cleveland. I don't know what what the Browns got in that. I but... believe they got a first round or a second round that could turn into a first round. I think is what I maybe saw. I do not know. Nah, might be whatever. a first round. A good, I don't know. They move. got a couple things out of it. Yeah, the Browns are just trash, dude. But get rid of Amari Cooper. I don't know. They're probably just, yeah, they're probably just re you know, trying to rebuild in the draft and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, that'll be good for my, uh, for fantasy, which I did get my first one in the league last night. Let's go. Well done. Oh yeah, brother. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, no, that'll be good for my fantasy though. Be getting more mm-hmm. volume from, uh, from, a, from a way better quarterback. Um, oh, all right, yeah. now let's see if I can do this. All right, so we're gonna try to fucking jump in and show you this, uh, show you this, uh, little, uh, what do you want to call it? Injury of the fucking week. Can you see my screen, Jake? No, I can't. Son of a bitch. Okay, what happened? Where'd I go? Okay, let's go. You know, okay, let's go. Boom, share it, baby. Share it, baby. Oh, there we go. Yeah, oh, it's coming he's up. Sharing it, baby. <laughs> All right, we're going to start off quick with this little fucking number by... F- Here we got fucking Aiden Hutchinson's injury, dude. I thought that was a camera Show edit. Show it. Show it. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that shit, dude. That's just so it's nasty. It's like just wraps around the guy's leg. That's crazy. And there's another clip where he's like laying on the ground like he had just fallen onto his back. And you can see <sighs> his ankle just flopping <laughs> freely. Oh, it's just so nasty, dude. Poor guy. I mean, wild. he's he's out for the season. 
For sure. Mm-hmm. You he's know, a, he did I, he did say in a quote, he's like, I'm coming back once the once the Lions make it to the Super Bowl. He's he's suiting up, he said. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome that he's that confident. I mean it was it was like a yeah. I mean, quick. honestly, at this point, if the if the Lions don't make it to the Super Bowl, the you you have to question the uh, NFL's is it scripted? It has to. It yeah. has to. The Lions <laughs> have to make it to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Fuck the 49ers. They've had their fucking chances, dude. I mm-hmm. mean, obviously, I would love for the Bears to go, but I mean, yeah, I'm not trying to be what, an unrealistic Bears fan know? here. Yeah. Being realistic with what's at hand, but I won't fucking kneel down to the fucking haters that say the Bears are fucking just winning because they're fucking playing teams that are one to four. Go fuck yourself, bro. Watch what happens <laughs> when they show up and compete in the fucking toughest division in football. Mm-hmm. As a Bears fan, I'm supposed to say like even even if it wasn't true, if it, if it was literally just one and four teams that were beaten, what am I supposed to say? F- oh, you know what the Bears kind of suck. I think no, I'm supposed to fucking hype, hype my team up. They're my team. What do you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? Fuck I agree. <laughs> What do you want us to do? Is change the schedule, dude? Come on. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, Aiden Hutchinson uh, gets better soon for for I, sakes for fa- Detroit fans because he's a Detroit, a Detroit boy, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Living out here, definitely a Lions fan. I'm just gonna replay that game. Not really replay it. Just kind of go over it if you don't mind. Go ahead. Um, Lions versus Cowboys. The final score was forty-seven to nine. Uh, Cowboys looked really, really bad. <laughs> like they looked like some of the Bears games I've seen in the past. That are, I mean, let's face it, there's some really bad ones. But <laughs> I hate the I hate the Cowboys. But I mean, it's even so good. dude, even the announcers they said like th- these teams were playing on a totally different games. <laughs> like, they weren't. Yeah. They were not on the same page. Um, dude, th- I mean the Jared Goff. Let's see, he threw for oh, what was it, three hundred and fifteen yards three touchdowns they averaged 12 or he himself averaged 12.6 yards per throw just crazy every time you touch the that's ball a, you get a first down that's a great number oh yeah uh david montgomery and jameer gibbs they were pretty productive uh david montgomery two touchdowns um let's see on top of his 80 rushing yards right jameer gibbs he with 63 on the ground 28 yards receiving um I mean, what else, dude? It was a great game. Like, there was the Aiden Hutchinson leg breaking thing. That was pretty traumatic. Yeah, like, kind of even s- just seeing that it kind of takes but, the air out of it, though. You know, it's like fuck you when you're one of your best you know, defensive so players fucking breaks his leg. That's the thing. So they, I mean, even though that happened, it was like Dan Campbell, head coach. I'll talk him up every chance I get because he's awesome. He ran three different plays, three three separate times, dude. He ran a play intended for one of the big boys <laughs> dude he's he's taking these linemen and running like trick plays with them and none of them scored unfortunately but like he just kept he keeping morale up man he's like hell yeah he's just having fun with it like yeah you just lost like your best defensive player you know a few minutes ago but he's like hey fuck it it'll be okay we'll see him next year watch yeah. this and like he's just having fun i mean i saw that uh didn't jared goff give uh daniel uh, Dan Campbell, the uh, game ball too. I saw that. Did he? <laughs> yeah. Well, because he gave Jared. Go- I think he gave Jared Goff the. Uh, he gave Jared Goff the game ball, and then Jared Goff's mm-hmm. like, "No, nah, coach, you're our rock. Here, you get the game ball and gave it back to, to awesome. uh, Dan yeah. Campbell. Dude, he, he's a cool guy. They they all. I mean, I wish I would have watched I've that Hard seen. Knocks from last year. My buddy, my buddy Rob from work told me he watched it. And he's like, "Yeah, I'm kind of a low key Lions fan after watching Hard yeah, Knocks. You should be. It's great. Yeah, they're fun to watch. That's what I'm saying. Like." Dude, Lions, if you're gonna if you're gonna watch any football, if anybody's like not into football that much, turn on a Lions game. Like that's that's just I'm, entertainment. Hey man, I mean <laughs> it just makes it just makes me more excited for Thanksgiving from now on because it used to for our whole lives it was just watching the Lions get their ass kicked by whoever <laughs> the fuck they were playing on Thanksgiving. Yeah, it was yeah, and every year. You know, and then uh, Every once in a while, the Bears would be in there and be like, fuck yeah, Bears are going to beat the Lions mm-hmm. on Thanksgiving. Hell yeah. Now it's like, all right, if the Bears play the Lions on Thanksgiving, it's like, fuck, dude, now it's going to be a really, really yep. nervous, nerve-wracking Thanksgiving. <laughs> I yeah, mean, you know, but I mean, if we can, I, I don't know, if the Bears can beat the Vikings, I'll feel real good. I know the Bears are going to beat the Packers. You can all fucking record it, timestamp it, 1427 into this episode. I said it. Bears beating mm-hmm. the Packers. I know you agree. <laughs> Fuck the Packers. Dude. I agree. Fuck the Packers. Um, just last <laughs> last thing on the on the Lions. Yeah. David Montgomery's got signed to an like a deal extension till twenty twenty seven. 
for like I don't know millions of dollars. I it doesn't matter. He's he's rich and he's a football player. Yeah, <laughs> but, I miss I miss you know, him, man. I, I'm, I miss, buying, I'm buying a David Montgomery jersey. Hell yeah, dude! I'm doing that, yeah. I uh, you should you should buy one that's since you're a Lions and Bears fan, you should buy a half and half custom jersey, dude. Could do that. That'd be cool. That'd be fucking sweet. Um, I hated. I didn't. I didn't like that we kind of fucked him. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I I I really liked David Montgomery, but we also got you know we got DeAndre Swift out of it, which DeAndre mm-hmm. Swift was out. Yeah, I mean, he was on the Lions, so yeah. just. Dress a little flip flop, but I mean, I would have. Uh, I'm just glad that DeAndre Swift is showing up. If he wasn't, if he was playing like he was like the first like week or two when he wasn't doing anything, I was like, all right, guy, where the fuck have you been? You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that he's here. <laughs> I'm glad mm-hmm. that uh, I'm glad that he scored again this week, and I'm glad that the Bears are um, making me smile on Sundays, dude. Dude, how about them Bears, bro? How about them fucking Bears, dude? Like, <laughs> I just, I, I love it, man. It's just, I don't. I don't give a fuck how bad the Jaguars are. Caleb, he picked apart an NFL defense. I Dude, don't give a I fuck mean, if it's the worst pass. It literally is the worst pass defense in the NFL. I don't give a fuck. He made him look like a fucking. He made him look like goddamn D D two. Yeah, dude. like a low end D one school dude. Clean up on aisle my fucking pants, bro. Like that was. <laughs> What a game! Like <laughs> up on aisle, my pants. Nice. That's funny, dude. Literally, I mean, like that's two. That's three. Three wins in a row, man. That's three wins in a row. That's two. Uh, yeah. That's three wins in a row of of Caleb progressing each week too. That's Keenan Allen breakout fucking game this week. Two touchdowns, dude. Um, I also want to go back to the screen share real quick. Um, I want to show you. I loved this fucking play. The first touchdown that the Bears had. This uh. This past weekend, Caleb with the double pump fake. He had a pump fake to oh, Keenan yeah. Allen, pump so fake smooth. to fucking DeAndre Swift, and then Cole Komet right up the fucking middle. It just made me wet, dude. I was like, look at this shit. Just you know, like and, and the Cole Komet, the Cole Komet truck stick just to top it off. Yes, like- <laughs> it's just like that was fucking gorgeous, dude. And then, hang on, since we got this up, hang on. Um, let's look. Probably brought Caleb Williams. So Keenan Allen. Let's see if I can pull it up really quick. Maybe I should have pulled this up before we started. Here it is. All right. Here we go. Come on, baby. Oh, my God. What is this? What is That's this? <laughs> <laughs> Not what I was trying to pull up. Go first. <laughs> anyway, I was trying to pull up the, uh, I, the one thing I really wanted to highlight from from uh, Keenan Allen's with his, uh, his second. I think it was his second one. Second or first, I don't know. Anyway, one of the touchdown passes to Keenan Allen. It was they were in the red zone. It was right up the fucking middle, and Caleb threw it per, like perfect. Keenan Allen like turned around, threw, he threw it perfectly up on the fucking back shoulder, only where Keenan Allen could get it. It was just a perfect throw. It was a perfect one on one. He threw it exactly where the fucking corner wasn't. Only Keenan Allen could get his hands on it. I was like, ooh, love it. Yeah, dude. I don't know, man. I played quarterback back in the day, and I love seeing those nasty passes. We're only, we're only, it is only <laughs> for the fucking receiver. It's just like those are so cool to see. I love seeing them. Oh yeah, yeah, it's so cool. Caleb actually became the first Bears rookie quarterback since 1999 to throw for more than t- or to throw for three touchdowns in a game. You know, I read that. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Yep. He ended up throwing for four touchdowns, like I said, you know, fucking 23 for 29, 226 yards, four touchdowns and an interception. Interception was kind of sh- it was it was just a it was just a brain fart. That, I don't think anything of it. I'm not going to fucking he that had extra a touchdown, touchdown right there. I was going to say the, the extra touchdown that they got. I mean, he got four touchdowns, bro. You, you can you can throw in you can throw an interception here and there. Well, if right, you're going to do he, that. He like, could have ha- he could have had six because he had DJ Moore wide open on that route. He just underthrew it. He knows it. He yeah he he you could see his face right after he threw it. He's like ah oh, fuck. And mm-hmm. then the other one where DJ almost scored and his fucking his forearm landed on like the half yard line. That's the that's the drive that De- uh, DeAndre Swift ended up scoring on. Um, okay, so it worked out like so he could have had six touchdowns, dude. Could have had him. Could have had him. Um, <laughs> fucking what else? What else did I have on here? Um. There's another thing about Caleb. Caleb Williams is the only rookie quarterback since 2000 to have a game with four plus touchdown passes, 210 plus passing yards, and a, and a 75 percent plus completion rating. That's pretty nice. Cool. That is cool. Um, and then also, 
just to show his progression. Weeks one through three, he was one and two in victory, you know, wins and losses. Uh, weeks four through six, he's three and oh. Okay. Uh, for pass yards, pass yards to attempt is 5.3, one through weeks one through three, and then 8.5. Oh, per attempt, pass yards per attempt. So his his uh, was five point three yards week one through three, and then eight and a half weeks four through six. Um, his touchdown to interception was uh, his ratio was two to four, one through three. Now it's seven to one. Nice. And then uh, his passer rating weeks one through three was sixty five point three, and now it's at a good fucking solid one twenty two point eight. Oh, one twenty. I was gonna say one twenty one twenty two point eight the last three weeks in a row. <laughs> That's, That's what awesome. his quarterback rating has been at, dude. So. I don't care who you like. Go fuck yourselves. He's a fucking. He's he's proving himself. I'm not saying he's the fucking he next is. goat, but he is he is fucking getting better every single week. Like he is progressing. He's doing what a rookie quarterback is supposed to, and he's doing it at at a pace that I think is a lot. I mean, he's doing it at a way faster pace than fucking Justin Justin Fields or Trubisky did. Oh yeah, I mean yeah. Well, not neither of those guys really found themselves with the Bears, you know. Right. J- Justin Fields had a good season. Yeah, you know, same with Trubisky. I think he had, you know, there was one or two seasons, but like they, you know, they just right never really solidified it. I don't I mean, know, man. They, the Bears are dominating NFC in general. Is yeah, like, NFC is the. Be- I mean, when it was last awesome. time, NFC North was the big, the the toughest division in football. Each each one of us, dude. All the teams in the NFC are over like a point five percent, like win percent. Yeah, you know, everybody's got a winning record. Uh, it's <laughs> I don't know, um, unheard of. Just want to give you a heads up. We got nine minutes left. I got the nine All minute right. warning. Just to give cool. you a heads up. Um, but yeah, dude. <sighs> what you else know, I, I, I mean, I just I saw this all the scores from this weekend. The NFC just dominated in their games, dude. Okay, yeah, dude. I mean, I mean, the Packers. Fuck the Packers, but they scored thirty four against Arizona. Bears scored thirty five. Fuck Arizona. Lions. If, Lions scored hey, forty six points. If Packers fans want to shit on fucking the Bears for playing again, playing good or against shitty teams, I'll say it right to the fucking Packers. Fuck you. The Cardinals suck. You know what I mean? Yeah, they do. <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, man. Pa- Bears end up winning that fucking game, thirty five to ten. Like making us proud. I love it. <laughs> Yep. Go Cannot Bears. wait. Going into the bye week, going you know into the bye four and two, feeling good about it. It's a, it's a it's a it's a feeling good four and two. It could be like a, it could be a fucking shitty three and three. You know what I mean? Or yeah, it could be could a shitty be. three and three. But we could be last in the NFC again. But we're not. <laughs> but we're not. We're not. <laughs> Packers are last in the NFC North. <laughs> like, come on, dude. How about that? They are by like a few points. Did you know that? Um. Uh, Cole Komet's the backup long snapper. Yeah, dude, he's yeah. a. <laughs> there's, I was wondering. There's this stat line that I saw. It goes down how like dominant Cole Komet is. He's got zero drops this season. Twenty six receptions, twenty nine targets, two hundred and eighty nine yards. He's got to be he's the got, uh, the tight end one in the league, probably right. I think he's like one. He's got to be top three. I know that much. I mean, he's ranked high up on here. Three touchdowns. But then it says the last line, it's six perfect long snaps. Like, what, what, what the <laughs> hell, hell yeah. is that? It's, like, uh, it's from. That's funny. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but saying you're the number one tight end this year is not saying much. Tight ends have been doing nothing in this league this year, but it is awesome to see that fucking Cole Komet's getting his fucking, getting his, uh, I don't know. Like I, I, I always like to throw into a tight end, me personally. It's a mm-hmm. big fucking target. It's a big target. It's usually. Yeah, I love that's so I love seeing Cole Komet get his fucking get his pit or get his catches, dude. It's nice to see. Yeah. He ended up having two touchdown pass or two touchdown receptions. Keenan had two. DeAndre Swift had one. Like, dude, five touchdowns. <laughs> Come on, dude. Like Come on. <laughs> and then I also said that, you know, that the Bears the Bears defensive line was just fucking up Trevor Lawrence in the second half, dude. They were just eating yeah, his little dude. fucking butt, dude. Yeah, they were. <laughs> it was Just so nice. Giving it to him. Did you see Caleb's fucking touchdown celebration? The fucking that fucking ice in the veins. <laughs> fucking, I, I love yeah. that shit. Yeah, and then he uh, he he went to go on and explain why he paints his nails. They did an interview. And it's because his mom worked at a nail salon. Yeah, he yeah, yeah like he's a uh, he's a certified nail like technician. He's yeah. 
he can paint like and get paid for it. <laughs> Dude, first Bears game I go to see where Caleb Williams is at, I'm gonna fucking paint him and go runner. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, dude! Yeah, man. <laughs> Bears into the bye week. Who do the Lions got this coming week? Lions Vikings, right? Uh, oh, the Vikings. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm, we, I'm we taking could... Lions in that all day. The Vikings are frauds. I think. I think so too. I mean, they are five and zero, oh, and I'm looking at it like this. That and then like the rankings with the percentage wins. Like they, their defense is like stomping people. You know, they're they're only allowing like seventy. They've only allowed seventy points this year, or something. Fuck yeah. Some seventy something, but. I mean, like they're doing something right. I still think that the Lions are going to win. I do think that. I mean, this is the first NFC divisional game, isn't it? This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is I the first. It is, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. it's be cool it's just to really see where the it's, NFC North stands. Or yeah. See who the re- see who the real uh, kings of the oh, North it's, are. It's it's, it's going to be Lions. Yeah, if you Lions. if you make the Lions bet right now, it's uh, odds yeah. are in our favor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> um, let's see what we got here. We still got five minutes. Um, I'll just touch, I wanted to touch in uh, on uh, since we got a little bit of time left. Um, Spencer Rattler getting the fucking start for the Saints. Um, the reason I bring him up, I like that 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 QB one show on Netflix. Did you ever watch that? I yeah. So there's all, they only had three seasons. I don't know why. If everybody anybody that doesn't know, they follow they follow high school high school quarterbacks or whatever. Fucking Justin Fields was on there. That's how mm-hmm. I found out about him, and I actually said to Cora, "I'm like, God, that'd be fucking cool if we got him one day." And sure, shit, we got <laughs> him. It didn't work out, obviously, but Spencer Rattler was one of the quarterbacks in the third season, and uh, he, um, yeah, I don't know. He he ended up going to uh, Oklahoma, and then he ended up transferring it to to uh, South Carolina after that. So I don't know. It was just cool because I, I, <laughs> I just always thought he looked funny to all to anybody that doesn't know what he looks like. <laughs> okay, see, look at that. He's he's a black guy, he's glowing. He's, he's glowing <laughs> with a, with a white face. <laughs> yeah, he's playing white face. He's a, <laughs> he's no, he's like he's albino. Like, he's like he's, kind of albino. Spencer, he's a baller though. Kid's really good at football. Oh so, yeah. Um, God did he? It, this thing's fucking out of focus now. When, See the when, fucking, when did? Oh, did it screw you up? Yeah, fucking albino <laughs> black guy. <laughs> yeah, fucked me good, up. There we go. <laughs> um, did he? Did, he didn't start this week, did he? Yeah, this past week because Derek Carr's out with an oblique injury. Did he play well? Did yeah. you? I yeah, he ended up sure. playing decent. I don't remember. I didn't. I didn't get his stats. Um, let's hear. Let's look it up real quick. Um, um, ba, 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 Drake Spence. May he completed yeah, Drake 60%. May got his, he got his first start. Yeah, good for him. Three okay. touchdowns, two interceptions. Okay, yeah, I shouldn't say he did really good. He was twenty. No, he he did not do really good. It was twenty-two for forty with uh for two hundred forty-three yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. Oh, what? one touchdown? I said what? I'm looking Spencer. at three. For Spencer Rattler? Yeah. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, this game says one touchdown. Right? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're right. You're right. I was okay. looking at I was looking at the wrong numbers. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So he ended up um two hundred forty three yards, though. He had a lot of he had a decent amount of yards. Well, for, yeah, for, his, for his first game. But uh yeah. Um, yeah, Drake May gets his first start. Um, who else? Is there anything else in there? Fucking Steelers won again. <laughs> Justin Fields won yeah. again, right? Oh, Justin Fields, man. I need to draft him in our fantasy football league because he is just, he's killing it. Man, in my other league, bro, I picked up Baker Mayfield after week one after I, cause I had Jordan Love and I dropped Baker Mayfield or I dropped Jordan Love, picked up Baker and have never looked back. He's just been balling out for me. And I'll have to say that Baker Mayfield is probably my favorite quarterback in the league that's playing right now. Yeah, I just love him as a. He's, I loved those Browns commercials, bro. Like they, if Tampa, Tampa <laughs> needs to bring those back, dude. They need to bring. Those they're back doing a little game. bit. They, didn't they give him like an alter ego? Like now he's just some super fan that. That oh, was uh, like, he went he went undercover for uh, a, a tryout, it. I think, and that was like yeah. Was, uh, I forgot who else did that. There was a uh, Jared Goff did that too when he played for mm-hmm. the Rams. He did that. Back in the day, he came on as like a fucking cow, or he was he like joined a college team or some shit as like an imposter. I or, remember yeah, that, yeah. yeah. But I don't know, man. Um, so yeah, I got surgery tomorrow, so I'm gonna hang out with Cora 
Yeah, dude. Good luck with that. Yeah, should, uh, <laughs> should be fun. We're uh, we're not stopping though, dude. We're gonna put out an episode next week. You might be here for a live podcast, whether it is for the Ball Boys or if it's just for a normal podcast. Hell Regardless, yeah. probably just a normal one. But re- I'm in. Either way, hell yeah, dude. Um, so yeah, that'll be another episode of uh, of the Ball Boys podcast. Uh, yeah, fucking go Bears and uh, okay. yeah, go Bears and I can't I can't say go Lions yet. I'm never gonna. I'm probably never gonna say it out loud. I don't it'll, know, feel, it'll feel good. You don't have to. You don't have to say it yet. What, yeah, hey, go, I'll say it. Go, go Lions. Go Bulldogs. Go Georgia Dogs. <laughs> Sig them. Go Bears. Bear down. Go Bears. Let's Bear go. Down. All right. We'll see you next week. All right. See you guys.